The programme that we've been running, um, which has obviously seen our graduates um, completing today, is um, called Building Stronger Communities. And it was really about um, engaging people to learn from what happened in Srebrenica um, during the Bosnian conflict, but also to um, be able to have the skills and confidence to take action in their communities. I suppose at the outset, my take on this course was, I thought it was going to be something like a history course. Um, but I soon discovered it was going to be anything but. Um, you know, it was a fully immersive, um, intensely challenging six-week program, reflecting on the brutal reality of the Bosnian War. Uh, the, the the testimonies were inspirational um, and just um, left me in tears many a night. I think it's a great either a starter course for people who don't know anything about remembering Srebrenica and don't know anything about social action or community cohesion, but also for people who've been involved for years, it's a great way to find out what else can you be doing, collaborate with people who work across all different fields, whether that's academia, their students who work in the civil service, um, councils, there are so many different points of view and it's a really great way to collaborate with other people, so no matter how much you think you already know, you're always going to learn more by doing this. Um, I found this course amazing. Um, learning about the history has been the main thing for me because I've done history and I've never come across it or been introduced to it even remotely. So learning about the history is amazing. The, um, you get so much information on this course and there's definitely still more to learn. So I'm definitely going to carry on looking into it as well. Uh, it was a fantastic uh, programme. Um, I really enjoyed Kim's style. Uh, she was uh, very conversational and um, allowed us to kind of uh, the scope within what was allowed for each week in terms of the topic so uh, she, she gave us uh, a lot of uh, leeway to bring in our own knowledge of our own situation particularly for myself uh, coming out of a post-conflict scenario in the north of Ireland so um, I, it, it was an intense challenging life-altering course and uh, I'm really appreciate having done it. We had a couple of seminar groups which really got people to explore how they felt um, but also to start exploring what micro-social actions they might take. Um, so we had everything from posting on social media to having a chat over coffee with somebody at work. One of our participants who isn't here today actually spoke about um, intervening. So she saw some boys, what she thought were bullying somebody, um, and she felt confident enough after taking the programme to actually intervene and check that the boy on the floor was OK. And I think that for us has been the real pleasure in seeing the actions that are taken through being on this programme. So today's event obviously at the Bosnian Embassy, um, hosted by His Excellency Vanya Filipovic um, and in attendance with Lord Bourne and Wakar, who's the chairman of Remembering Srebrenica, um, was really about celebrating our students' graduation, celebrating the pledges that they've made um, that are sustainable pledges to undertake action to build stronger communities. I'm, I'm so deeply uh, grateful uh, for, for literally thousands of volunteers, activists and champions that, that work with the Remembering Srebrenica on these issues. And I'm uh, very excited that the charity uh, teamed up with the Montfort University to run this course. Uh, uh, and all the feedback we've heard has been just absolutely amazing.